Everybody's trying to put their home gym together, and a lot of people ask me about hanging a heavy bag, or they want to put one on a stand, never put one on a stand. Uh, but if you need a piece of equipment, and maybe you live in an apartment, or you live with your parents, or you live in like an igloo or whatever, you don't need a heavy bag. This is what you need. If I could only have one piece of equipment in my home gym, it would probably be this. Now the thing is, this is hard. Home gym equipment is like flying off the shelves right now. Like you can't find anything, but you can get these. There's still a lot of these left. And I think it's because either a lot of people don't know about it, they don't know what it's for, or because they've tried it and they sucked at it. And it sucks to suck at things. When you hit this thing, it doesn't always fly predictably. I mean, the better you get at it, the more you can control where it goes, but you have to be balanced and your timing and your range and your rhythm all has to be much better than it does on the heavy bag. With this, you can't lean and like throw yourself off balance because you're not gonna bounce off of this like you would a heavy bag. Heavy bag you hit, you bounce off, it moves slowly, it moves predictably, and you're kind of in charge of it. With this guy right here, like there's no telling where it's gonna go, especially like I'm not super good at it since I've been home. Uh, oh, by the way, if you wanna get one of these, there's a link down in the description below, but also I'm gonna show you how you can make one out of random bullshit around your house if you don't wanna order one. The double end bag lets you like practice your head movement, you visualize, you know, strikes or whatever coming back at you. Bop, bop, ding, bop. But it flies unpredictably, so you also have to be super accurate. It's also like the best way to practice elbows, because practicing elbows on a heavy bag, like if you practice elbows on a heavy bag here, like this sucks. And what usually people end up practicing is a forearm smash. They'll hit like that, and they like smash their forearm into it, which that's a good strike, but that's not really like a traditional slashing elbow. With the double end bag, you can't throw yourself off balance, so you have to cut that elbow and it, it gives, so it doesn't like hurt as bad. So on top of like making you better at boxing, it has like MMA and Muay Thai applications too, because it's a nice, easy way to practice the elbow strike, because you don't, you don't have to strike super hard for elbows to be damaging. You know, you can practice posting and striking, posting with the same hand, striking with that one, boom, it kind of flies unpredictably. You can practice your defense, you know, either, either whether that's head movement or shelling up, you know, you go pop, pop, head movement, pop, woo. Or if you're getting in close and you're really going after it, you just cover up, let it bounce. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh, it got me. The other uh, upside is you can practice it bare knuckle. Like, you don't, if you just want to walk over to it in the middle of the day and you don't have to like get ready, you don't have to like get in the zone. But you can put this up anywhere. You just need like some kind of hook to attach it to. You can get one of those, like just something like this that just screws into, make sure you get into a joist or a, a beam or whatever. You don't need this. Like, I bought this and in the, on Amazon it looked like smaller, but this thing is huge. It sprung a leak right away, and then this like got sawed in half. Like you don't need this. All you need is something heavy to affix it to. It could be anything. I use a 30 pound dumbbell, and you have to you know rig up some kind of way to attach it. These are the bungees it came with. You just gotta sort of figure out like how long you like it or how tight you like it. You just you gotta pick. You know, this really tells you what you're doing right and wrong. You gotta be. Almost perfect, but if you don't want to buy one, um, I'll show you how to make one out of random bullshit around your house. We're gonna use Maddox's old size three soccer ball from when he was in rec league. You can use any kind of duct tape. I use black because it's, it's just cooler. Rope, did you bring any rope? Some sort of rope or strap, like these nylon straps here. Some carabiners. You don't have to carabiners because the rope or straps will be enough but any kind of bungees around your house all right so, all right so you take your rope or your strap or whatever and you just get it on there some kind of way don't overthink this part because this isn't actually what's going to be holding it 
This is just gonna be your attachment point. The duct tape is what's gonna be holding it all together. I'm gonna do this, because I think it'll look snazzy when I'm done. And now, in true redneck fashion, duct tape that some bitch up, overlap a little bit. Don't overthink this. It's not gonna look good at the end. If you want it to look good, go buy that nice ringside one. Just make sure when you're taping it up, you leave the air hole exposed. Dad's gonna be pissed that used up all his dang duct tape. Getting it finished is better than getting it perfect. By the way, if you actually do this, you need to tag me on Instagram. You need to take a picture and tag me on Instagram. Voila! That sucker looks good. How about ringside? We wish you well in your future endeavors, but now... Ooh, look at that guy. Ooh, this one's harder. It's smaller. I guess you could use like a full-size soccer ball, or you could use, you know, whatever. But the point is, I don't really expect anyone to make this. The point is, if you are at home and you can't get any equipment, or they're out of it, like, you need to be training. You could be doing something. Like, that's cool. We're keeping this one. You get it a little harder, it moves a little faster. That's not bad. I mentioned before, like you don't need wraps and gloves to work this thing. That's because it's lower impact. So, you know, if your hands or your shoulders or whatever is starting to ache, because you've just been too tight and you're just hitting the heavy bag too much and you're starting to uh, need a break from it, this is an excellent alternative. Or you can use it up as a warm up or a cool down or whatever, but you have to be relaxed to work it, which is important. If you remember like how Nick Diaz fought and he was just like passing those punches out and they weren't full power shots, but he was just high volume, kept touching the guy, boom, balanced. And like just constant, constant punches. This is how you develop that. We're gonna be doing a lot more home gym stuff. So if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications.